for roughly 100 years after the American Revolution, no company in the United States was granted a charter unless it could prove that it was working in the public interest. And charters usually only ran for about 10 years, or if a charter was granted to, to build a canal or a bridge and it was going to take 20 years, then it would run for that long. But then they had to be renewed, and the company had to prove that it was working in the public interest. That all changed primarily because of John D. Rockefeller in the mid to late 1800s and, and, and a bunch of what we call the robber barons who, who went into Delaware and New Jersey and other states and convinced them that they could make a lot of money and their politicians could get a lot of bribes and payoffs if they, if they would just invite corporations in without having to prove they're working in the public interest. So that changed. But I think we need to go back to something like that that says that these corporations, now that are so powerful all over the globe, must operate in ways that serve future generations, not just the immediate bottom line and the immediate stockholder. And in fact, we've seen during this last recession that even though they set as their goal maximizing profits and, and making lots of money for their stockholders, that hasn't worked either. It's because it's a failed system. The system just is not working. We have to revamp it. We have to change it.